All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 to 160 pound division where Errol Spence Jr. made an appearance on his farm and man made Floyd Mayweather look like he might be a genius. <laughs> if, we, if we didn't already know that he may be anyway. But at this time, talking about what weight and what should be taking place for the Errol Terrence rematch. I think Floyd Mayweather Jr. may be correct. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 147, or actually the 154 pound division, where Errol Spence Jr. will be rematching Terrence Crawford. Um, Errol Spence Jr. has not been out and about a lot since his loss to Terrence Crawford in the uh, in their undisputed title fight that took place in July. Uh, however, some video has surfaced of him on his farm and it made Floyd Mayweather Jr. look like a prophet with something that he said and something I at this point in time I got to be in 100 percent agreement with. But before I get into that, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really makes a huge difference to the channel. But let's get into this because, man, man, Errol Spence Jr. look really big. That's the only way that I can put this in the lead in up to this fight that I guess is supposed to be taking place in February. And that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing, but it is the thing that it is uh, a, and just really brought up to me and reminded me of something that when I heard Floyd Mayweather say it, I didn't really get it. However, when I listen to Floyd Mayweather things talk, say things about the sport of boxing, I tend to listen because obviously the man is an expert in the area and knows exactly what he's talking about. So when he said that if he was managing Errol Spence Jr. or working with Errol Spence, he wouldn't even have Errol fight at 147. He wouldn't have him fight at 154. He would have him fighting at 160 or 168 pounds because that's the size of guy that he is. Now, um, Er Errol was on his farm and took a video of uh, him with a dog. I can only imagine it was a big old mastiff and it looked like maybe he bought a puppy for a mastiff, a mastiff puppy. Either he had a mastiff and the man and he had somebody there with him that was holding the mastiff that he owned or holding the parent of the mastiff that he bought. But it was a gigantic uh, black look like a. Um, like a boar hound or I don't think it was like a boar bull or anything like that with a South African massive, but man, it was a big old massive. And Errol Spence Jr. was holding a puppy. But if you look at what Errol looks like, Errol looks like he's walking around at about 175, 180 pounds. He looked very, very big. His face was full. His um, stomach was rounded. He looked like now if he walked around with his shirt off, just I mean, with his shirt on with normal people around, he may not look fat because, you know, they're just uh, he just didn't have any muscle. He didn't have any leanness to his muscles and his face looked really full. Um, so he definitely put on a lot of size and is carrying on a good amount of weight. So if he's going to be fighting February, which is what, three months away, if he's going to go into camp for that, it's going to have a good amount of weight to cut. Um, so when Floyd says, look, man, this guy's 160, 168 pounder, man, I, man, I could believe it. I could believe it. He looked big. He looked very big. Now, is that a bad thing heading into the fight with uh, Terrence Crawford? It very well may not be. It may very well may be because you could say, hey, man, he's taking time. He's not in the gym. He's not working out, working out and all of that. But really, from the what happened to him in the last fight, he 
probably needed to take time off, needed to let his body rest and all of that good stuff. But the reason why I say that it could not, I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing for him is because of a conversation that I had with somebody that is used to preparing for competition is up is actually, you know, like a, um, a fitness uh, in fitness competitions and talked about cutting weight is very familiar with cutting weight and training fighters to cut weight. And one of the things that they said was that they train lifters, um, you know, uh, or natural bodybuilders and say, look, man, whenever you go through like a carb depletion in order to or depletion in order to cut your body fat down so that you can make weight or get your body to the, you know, to where it looks really lean and cut that those type of those type of athletes wind up being very weak during the time that they're doing that. They can't lift nearly as much or not as fast or not as strong as when they have more weight on their body because the process of the process of cutting all that down weakens you. Right. And that you can really oh, you're only really supposed to stay in that state up and, you know, from a specific amount of time up into your competition. And it's not something that you should be doing year round. So it may be the case that Arrow got advice or Arrow's like, look, I got to let my body rest. I got to eat food. Got to let my body you got, got to give my body nutrients to let my brain recover, let my body recover and then go through more of a traditional weight cut, you know, closer to the fight at 154 pounds to allow himself to be stronger. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and de- second guess what Aerosmith Jr. is doing in the lead in in the lead into fights. But I will just make that observation that. Floyd Mayweather Jr. may very well had a point. Man, that dude is very big, man. And I remember seeing him uh, like in person before the uh, at the Frank Martin fight against um, uh, Marin- Jackson Marinez of the fight was in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and we saw Arrow walk by me several times. And Errol is definitely, definitely a big dude, um, definitely significantly bigger than when I saw Terrence Crawford in person. He looked like a much bigger guy. Um, but we'll see what happens in the rematch because the rematch is definitely going to take place. I certainly hope that it's not. A, I don't think that it's a scenario where he's just being lazy and not working out or whatever. And But if he is. You know, that's pretty much what everybody was telling him to do, that you just need time off. You need to give a chance to let your body heal. And he may be he may be doing that. But, um, yeah, man, it's a big dude, man. Very, very big dude. Um, And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of people talking about what he looked like and how bad he looked and this, that and the other thing. But, you know, you see that with fighters a lot in between fights, those guys really going up in weight. And in this particular instance, since the fight is going to be at 154 pounds, the fight is not going to be at 147 pounds. He's going to have an extra seven pounds, uh, extra seven pounds leeway. Um, to be able that he really doesn't have to cut it. And also after the fight, after his weight cut is going to be able to go up even a higher, you know, a higher amount of weight um, in the way in the what in the 24 hours or something between or the more than 24 hours in between the weigh in. And the time that he and the time that he actually fights. But anyway, man, still looking forward to the rematch, man. Definitely wish Errol the best in it, in that regard. But Floyd Mayweather Jr. Man never ceases to amaze me with the accuracy of his statements when it comes to what's going on in a boxing ring. Very rarely hear him pick fights wrong. Very rarely see him making, you know, making or giving fighters, making missteps with fighters pretty much since early in his promotional career where he used to get guys beat by putting them in, you know, a little bit heavy. But anyway, I mean, a little bit, their competition a little bit heavier than maybe they should have been in at that time. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.